Okay, hello guys and girls and welcome back to the Trailer Fits Toolbox and by popular request I've been asked to show the contents of my breakdown or work bag or tool bag okay so I will do that but in good time so I'd like to show you the uh, blue spot 8 piece impact socket adapter set and yes we have a bigger adapter here Okay, which is three quarter to half inch. The rest are, uh, well, they're uh, <laughs> adapters for sockets and bars, okay, which minimizes the amount of stuff that I need in my tool bag, which doesn't go everywhere, but it will come with me if I'm doing breakdowns. Uh, this one is uh, seven o'clock in the morning with uh, uh, a certain breakdown, batteries flat, so we took some batteries out to change it. And yeah, you only need basic tools for things like this. Major serious breakdowns, that's a different matter, but yeah. As long as you've got enough tools to do the job on site, that's good. Anything else will need a recovery, okay? So yeah, batteries, what do you need? 10 mil, a uh, little stubby here. This is a, a Blue Spot Tools spanner. Yeah, a little stubby one, actually brilliant. I use these so I don't short out on anything. You can see the common sense of it. If you had a long spanner, you'd probably touch some metal somewhere. So, uh, yeah, other than that, it's just uh, 13 mil sockets, an extension bar, and a ratchet to uh, to do all this, and a bit of WD-40 as well. Batteries off, batteries on, and then away you go. So this is also uh, for home use as well. As you can see here, I have it in the back of my car with selective sockets. Now I have uh, mainly what I need and then anything else I will put in the top for the jobs that I know I'm going to do. And I'm always doing something. So here's another van and another breakdown. Put this in the back and away we go. And then off to another breakdown. And this one was this morning actually. This was a broken trailing arm on a trailer. Uh, it's quite serious actually, it's snapped in half and it, it spread apart, so I can't move it until we do something about it. Generally, if you're going to do big work, you need a big van with flashy lights on it like this. Yeah, and uh, that'll have a compressor in and you can uh, use air guns to strip all sorts of big things. But what we're doing here, we're actually recovering this. So uh, using a set of lorry span sets, what I've done here is have to pull the axles together. First of all, you can see here and then strap it up okay so the spring is not going to move too much the axle won't skew around because it has a shock absorber there okay and it only moves in two ways so it's okay and uh, yeah of course there's the escort of the vehicle back to the workshop because that is a big job which requires um, big tools so yeah that's job done bags back i'll empty out the tools i don't need and then just wait for a slot in the workshop so looking on the top of my uh, toolbox, first of all, I have a set of adapters, big boy stuff, inch to three quarter inch. That's an adapter, which is hardly used because I don't want to lend it out. And then there's a souvenir here. I've got to show you this because it's a King Dick. I'm sure some of you guys are going to remember King Dick. 1967. Look at that XMOD. That was my dad's actually. 1967. That's the year I was born. Right. So adapters inch uh two three quarters so you have the inch socket and i use a three quarter gun with those three quarters mainstay for commercial vehicle fitters when they're using on suspension stuff and this is from say 41 to 24 millimeters you'd use three quarter and anything smaller would be half inch but of course you can use half inch with an adapter three quarter bar which would be something like the this one here yeah now the difference is a professional one snap on one has a breakable uh, sacrificial end on it and it is replaceable the same with this which is half inch to three quarter which you'd use very powerful air guns with which generally you won't be doing at home instead you'll be using your half inch your three quarter and your quarter inch which what these adapters are for so you are uh, flexible so I have a quite a lot of silverware, which are quarter inch, uh, three eight, and uh, half inch drive, both impact and chrome vanadium. And this rail, I'm just going to take that away now. I've found it, and yeah, so this is all my silverware for hand stuff. Yeah, and the big stuff, the big boy stuff, of course, we always use impact adapters and sockets with. Okay, so back to the bag. 
and the new set of adapters okay which is an eight piece impact socket adapter set from blue spot tools not blue point tools and you can see what i've got here and you can see some of these are actually doubled up and uh, they have a dual purpose now you'd think that some of them wouldn't break well it's because you can actually use these very strategically how I like to set things is have a little Soyuz rocket here, which has got breakable parts, so you take it all to pieces and put it all back together. I know what's what and what goes where. Okay, so that fits in the bag like that, and then I have my sockets. I have two rails which fit in the pockets, okay? But also, for six quid, not six squid, but six pounds, I got one of these, which is uh, three quarter to half inch drive, okay? Which fits there nicely. Now, I can't imagine many people have got three quarter drive sockets in their toolkits. This three quarter bar with an adapter I can use, thick walled half inch drive sockets for things like drive shaft ends, okay? Because you have the 32, 30 odd mil. Okay, and this Citroen, it happens to be 30 mil and it's very, very tight, okay? So, with the set I have here, very uncomprehensive, but the harder jobs to do, I use thick wall sockets. Now, thin wall chrome vanadium sockets are very, very weak in comparison, so you wouldn't want to double adapter down and try and undo something unless you really, really had to. To. you'd use an impact socket okay with a bar like so okay so that's 27 mil that was for a drive shaft and this one is for a drive shaft as well on the citron but the weakest point is where the adapter fits into the half inch drive yep so it won't break the bar or the socket it will break the adapter which is more sacrificial compared to the price of the bar or the socket Saying that, the biggest job you'll probably do is a drive shaft nut, something like 300 newton meters, that won't break that. Compared to this, which has 1400 newton meters of instant torque behind it, three quarter gun to half inch, that will snap on occasion, and they do, that's why they're sacrificial. But the price of these are prohibitive usually for the DIYer. Okay, so we talked about the uh, three quarter to half inch adapter, which is good for what it is and for six pounds, it's worth it. Now we have the half inch to a three eight drive, which, yeah, if you put two of them together, you can make an extension. But basically what I have here is extension bars and I only have a, uh, a couple of them in my uh, little wrap here with a half inch drive bar but I, what I can do here is I can make a long extension with that or for a short extension half inch three eight uh, three eight to half inch that's a short extension so to stop you from misbehaving especially on these plastic oil caps I uh, have an adapter here and well I thought first of all I put an extension on it and no that didn't fit because it was going to hit the brake pipes but we're using a three eight ratchet with a half inch drive extension a 27 mil socket I think that was and there we go and that's just as easy as that because it's only 25 newton meters to uh, tighten up and of course there is uh, adapting down again to um, quarter inch to a 38 which is easy to do just like that so that's not a problem especially when you don't want to buy multiple sets of the same type of Torx fittings so these adapters help you so you don't have to multiply or duplicate tools with different drive sizes, okay? So you can use half inch drive for instance with 3.8 ratchet or 3.8 with a half inch drive. You can have extensions or whatever you like. So yeah, this is why I always have a set with me in a bag or in my toolbox because you know you never have enough tools for the job, do you? So uh, there you go. This is a, a little bit of a heads up from me. I'm going to show you more about my tool bag later. But in the meantime, there's a little challenge for you. If you get one of these sets, try and make a tree with it because it's harder than you think to get them all together so they all fit together in one go so you can make one complete tree out of it, yeah? So there, you got a little challenge for you because it took me about half an hour to work out all this out. Yeah, so there you go, as proof I put them all together. Yeah, well, I'm going to break them now and put them in the bag because uh, they don't fit all in one long length. But we have everything we need to get ourselves out of trouble, which is the main thing. And they go in the pocket just there. So if you've done my uh, 
observation training you'd have noticed that I'd had another three quarter breaker bar here well this is actually a knuckle bar pretty good short and it's not to have bars put on the end of it whereas this one slightly different it's a bit more of a standard breaker bar this also is a blue spot tools one and you can get replaceable heads which are about a five or I think they were on off Amazon so anyway guys say that you can use an adjustable spanner for almost everything no you can't there are some jobs you can actually do with that that don't involve nuts and bolts and i will show you them later but i'll just show you here that you can't always undo drain plugs with them that's a 21 mil one that's just not possible i do have a fair amount of spanners and i have a load of spanners which eventually these spanners will go into that roll i've got to sort that out yet and yeah a few sockets to sort out but this is the other roll i've bought the rollers from ebay and uh, the ratchets and the extensions I here have a special one here which is pretty good for getting those odd angles which is a wobble drive if you ever see one of those about and uh, yeah the roll rolls up like that fits in the tool bag as such on top of the spanners and then there's the occasional tools and the magnetic tray which I have as well yeah stops the sockets rolling about now i have a naughty socket of one of those roll rogue sockets that keep disappearing okay and i found it here one time it's the clip that's at fault not actually the socket so uh, that's good and uh, in the bag i also have one of these everybody's got one of these if you haven't you better get one because this is for uh, lost sockets this is a grabber magnetic grabber and it also has a light on it as well so there's a switch on the on the end and i'll just show you that there's the switch you can click that on and then use it in the dark for uh, getting into those dark places so socket here again naughty sockets uh, escaped so i can get it and grab okay there we go there's no getting away from me this time you've been napped all right yep so there we have it <laughs> no more lost sockets huh nice tool and it's actually quite long that will uh, be sufficient for any mechanic yeah so that is the length of it and it's flexible as well so anyway guys that is about it for today that's a little bit of a browse into my tool bag it's forever expanding watch out for the other videos about it in the future